um, I just changed back into them because I mostly wear pajamas at home. Anyway, I read this this morning, The Little Book of Cannabis, How Marijuana Can Improve Your Life by Amanda Siebert. And she's um, from the Vancouver area. Anyway, put that back in there. Talk about it a little bit. I'm eating um, what I consider to be not really food. Um, and a lot of people would disagree with me. But, I mean, this bread is not too bad. It's a Kalamata olive bread. It, ta it tastes delicious. And the tomato soup, I guess there's lycopene in there. But, But all this food is dead. I'd be way healthier if I chose, say, um, kale juice instead, or as a part of this meal, whatever, or some sort of fresh juice thing. Um, vegetable or a salad. So I don't, I don't like to eat this sort of thing, and I, well, I mean everybody likes to eat yummy food, but, and this Kalamata olive bread is yummy, but it's, it's not really that good. Mm. So I'm going to talk about this book. The first thing that I have to say about this book, the first thing that I noticed is I can't stand the feel of it. I realized they maybe this Amanda Seabird was like, well, how can I make this book different? I know, I will make it little. Well, it's not comfortable to hold. It's not comfortable to read. It's The pages don't want to fall open. They want to shut. And so you really have to want to get this information to hold it open. And I don't like that. I don't like this book. And this was actually the... I. I got less out of this, even though it's quite thick, I got less out of this book than I got out of any of the other cannabis books that I've read so far. So if you are thinking, oh, I would like to read one book on, not this one. Anyway, I'll share my notes. Page 20, THC dramatically increases melatonin production in the brain. Slow wave sleep is thought to be the most restorative. And cannabis can lengthen that restorative phase, says Dr. Perry Solomon at HelloMD. In theory, it can reduce the plaque and beta amyloids in the brain, which can lead to Alzheimer's disease. That was page 21. Page 23, cannabis users get more slow wave sleep than, and less REM. Low doses of CBD act as a stimulant, higher doses act as a sedative. 15 milligrams per day makes more alert. 40, 80, 160 milligrams a day increases sleep time with less interruptions. 37. Canadian study of 628 people found that 79% used it to relieve anxiety. Relief of anxiety is primary reason for cannabis use. 40. Those with PTSD form a fear memory can cause flashbacks, aggression, depression, increased heart rate, muscle tension, insomnia. THC impairs fear memory, so it can be used for PS, PTSD intervention. 41. THC enhances fun functional connectivity between regions of the amygdala and prefrontal cortex. It can reduce threat perception. 43. Marinol synthetic THC, approved by FDA in 1985 for side effects of chemo. It doesn't work the same. When cannabis-derived THC enters the body, it works in conjunction with other cannabinoids and terpenes. 44. If people use CBD exclusively, they can build a tolerance which will require increasing the dose. 45. Death Bubba or Granddaddy Purple THC dominant relax mind with peaceful body hot. Cannabotonic is a CBD dominant strain with a little THC that is recommended for anxiety. 71 cannabis use has been linked to low BMI, says Reg Bagliati, Canadian snowboarder who had gold Olympic medal taken away temporarily because of THC use. 
consider CBD oil for anti-inflammatory and anti-anxiety properties. U of Miami 2016 study of 8,478 people between 2005 to 2010 lower prevalence of most of the five conditions that contribute to metabolic syndrome, but blood pressure seemed to be the exception. Burned cannabis users had slightly higher systolic blood pressure than non-users, but didn't have higher diastolic blood pressure. Vidit's team concluded that cannabis users were 54% less likely to suffer from metabolic syndrome than those who had never used cannabis. 79. Tetrahydrocannabivarin, THCV, is an analog of THC, thought to be quarter as potent. THCV can lead to weight loss, lower body fat, higher energy in mice. THCV affects the same receptors in the brain as THC, but acts differently. THC acts as an agonist, activating the receptor to stimulate hunger, but THCV acts as an antagonist, blocking the receptor and suppressing appetite. Both THC and THCV bring about feelings of euphoria. The heady effects of THCV last half as long as THC. 87. Mary Jean Watermelon Dunstan, who was arrested in 2001 for selling her special ginger snaps, she juices raw cannabis for use in smoothies. Raw cannabis, like hemp, is not intoxicating. It's heat that converts the non-intoxicating tetrahydrocannabinolic acid, THCA, to psychoactive THC. 91. Many Buddhist traditions, writings, and beliefs indicate that Siddhartha used and ate nothing but hemp and its seeds for six years prior to announcing his truths and becoming the Buddha. I have it marked on a page I would like to make notes of a little later. <sighs> 91. Cannabis seeds and oils were being used for food as early as 6000 BCE. Bang, a cannabis paste with milk, ghee, and spices was used around 2000 BCE in India. 92. In 500 BCE, Italian Bartol Bartolomeo Platina published a cookbook, The Honesta Bolacte, with several recipes using cannabis. Hemp is a superfood. Watermelon's favorite recipe is baked salmon with dried cannabis. 109 women in ancient Egypt applied cannabis oil to the inside of their vaginas to ease the pain of childbirth. Cannabis used in conjunction with sex in India in 700 CE. Nasha, cannabis mixed with lamb fat in Russia in 1930s. It was given to brides in the evening of their wedding day to reduce the pain of first intercourse. Guk Kand, candy containing hash, was made for boys who suffered pain caused by circumcision. 111. It's ironic that many of the people who grew up in the 60s are now completely anti-pot. That's a quote, and it's not ironic. Um, James and I will talk about that later. Men who smoked cannabis regularly had 29% lower sperm count than their counterparts who abstained. When combined with other recreational use, sperm count was lower even further by 55%. 2015 Canadian study regular use may lead to lack of interest, erectile dysfunction, and inhibited orgasm. Pain with penetrative sex is common among people with vulvas. I like that quote, um, says Ashley Manta. She sets out a bowl of lemon Larry OG, euphoric strain high in terpene called limonene. It wakes up her senses while waking her, making her body more receptive to touch. She shotguns that with her boyfriend, shotgunning blowing cannabis smoke directly into another person's mouth. She sprays a topical on her vulva and waits for Sex strains below 15% THC to avoid the anxiety brought on by the biphasic effects of cannabis that could cause her to get too high. Use cannabis in conjunction with masturbation before introducing it to a partnered situation. Keep journal notes on the effects. 
Oil-based lubricant can't be used with latex condoms. Use polyurethane or nitro condom instead. Uh, I think that's 156. Gordon of Cala Springs Wellness. Target cannabinoid receptors more commonly associated with the cancer type. If it's a central nervous system type cancer, whether it's in the spine or brain tumor, then it's CB1 and they'll use higher THC and lower CBD. If CB2 is the dominant receptor, they'll use 1 to 1 or 1 to 2 ratio of THC to CBD. High alpha or beta penine cultivators, cultivars make patients high and most aren't aiming for that. The purples contain those terpenes, linolimonene, myrcene, beta carifilene, which activate, that's activates CB2. 158, purple kush or train wreck high in THC might be more suitable for evening use. Super lemon haze or jelly bean can help with nausea and vomiting during the day. 183, cheap but potent fentanyl has replaced most of the street heroin in Western Canada, causing a greatly increased death rate among street drug users over the last five years. In BC, the number of deaths rose 88% between 2016 and 2017. 186, Dr. Amanda Riemann, Berkeley, um, of 350 respondents, 40% use cannabis as a substitute for alcohol, 26 in place of illicit drugs, 66% chose it over prescription. They preferred cannabis because they experienced fewer adverse side effects, better system management, and reduced withdrawal potential compared to other drugs. 187. Remix. Can cannabis as a replacement for opioids. 2,897 participants. 97% said cannabis allowed them to reduce their opiate consumption. 92% said that the side effects of cannabis consumption were more tolerable than those of opiates. While 81% said they found cannabis to be a more effective treatment than opiates. 93% said that if cannabis were more readily available, they'd be more likely to use it for their condition. 188. 2017 study in U.S. where medical marijuana was legal, fewer people were hospitalized for opiate use than in the states where it was not. Hospitalizations caused by opiate dependence or abuse fell by 23% in states after they implemented medical marijuana policies, while hospitalizations caused by overdoses dropped by 13%. Colorado, opiate-related deaths tell, tell, fell by nearly 7% in the two years following the state's decision to legalize recreational cannabis. 2002, CB1, brains, lung, muscle, digestive, reproductive, and cardiovascular systems, CB2, bone, skin, spleen, CB1 and CB2, liver, pancreas, bone marrow, immune system. 2003, a balanced endocannabinoid system keeps other systems in balance. Achieving balance can be challenging, especially when the body isn't producing enough uh, anandamide. Foods high in omega-3 fatty acids can help prom promote the production of endocannabinoids that will bind to receptors and help return the body to homostasis. Certain enzymes in the body actually work to break certain enzymes... No, what? To, to break down endocannabinoids. While THC binds to receptors, CBD interrupts the enzymes from breaking down existent endocannabinoids, increasing the number of naturally occurring compounds like anandamide and 2-AG in the body and makes for a more effective path to homeostasis. CBD helps the THC work better. And I have to finish that sentence in here. Where did it, where did it go? You know what, you're just going to have to look it up for yourself. I can't find it just on the spur of the moment, but it's on that page somewhere. So if you open up to where I left off, you'll find it. And I, it just finishes the thought and whatever. So let's see if my soup is cold. Still good. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off and eat.